Hello and welcome to Dr. Campbell's Science Demo. Hi, I'm Dr. James Campbell and you're watching Dr. Campbell's Science Demo. Today we're going to be looking at a bit of chemistry. We're going to see what happens when we react an acid and a base to form a salt. Just for your information, a base is what you mix with water to make an alkali solution. A base is the opposite of, a, of an acid. An acid gives um, protons, a base will accept protons. Bit technical there, but for our experiment I had to trawl through our kitchen cupboards. Uh, the first thing I came across, I was looking for a base, was some baking powder. This does contain a base, sodium bicarbonate, which is a base. Unfortunately it also contains lots of flour, so we'll just, uh, we do however have bicarbonate of soda, which is sodium hydrogen carbonate, sodium bicarbonate, or, and that's a much better source for our base. The other handy source of acid in the, in the, in the kitchen is of course vinegar, or acetic acid, or ethanoic acid. Vinegar is about 5% acetic acid. Or, so um, that's our reagents. We also need some equipment. So we've got a board, we have a, some sort of measuring implement here, half teaspoon measure, very imperial there. A vessel uh, in which to do the reaction, 35mm film canister. It has a has a very nice tight fitting lid so we can have some fun with that I'm sure. Of course the other thing we don't want to forget is the spectacles. Now, so, um, let's start the reaction. Uh, I'm just going to add a splodge of this sodium bicarbonate here. It's probably overkill but half, half a teaspoon should should be moderately. I'm going to add the vinegar as well. So here we go, just going to add the vinegar and as soon as I've done that I'm going to snap the lid on. Oops, that's why we have a board to do the reactions on. Okay ready, let's see what's going to happen. Add the lid in and take cover. Whee! Okay, that's the fun bit over. And I've made a bit of a mess here, so whilst I tidy up, why don't you go and have a look at the chemistry behind the reaction? Okay, so for our acid and base reaction, we need a base, which is sodium hydrogen carbonate, and we also need an acid, which here is ethanoic acid. Okay, there we go. Now, when they react, they form the salt, which is sodium acetate, which I'm just writing here. And we also get carbon dioxide, which is what made the case go pop, and we get some water released as well. There you have it. An acid reacts with a base to form a salt. Fascinating. Remember that one. So that's all. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.